welcome to Woodset Central. This video is going to cover some plans I've had for this year, uh, which is basically to extend the layout into an unused part of the loft. I basically want to change the layout so that the current terminus station becomes a through station so I can run trains straight through. And in order to do this, I'm going to make use of some of the unused loft. And this is going to be a record of the work I need to do in order to make this happen. The current layout is about 18, 18 foot long, um, six meters or so, and runs, as you can see, into a loop. And at the back of the loop, we've got a, a fiddle yard. And the plan is to extend from the fiddle yard and from the terminus station, which is in picture now, into the unused part of the loft. This is this area, which you can see through here, approximately 10 feet uh, by 12 foot across when the boards are in place. I'm now standing in the end of the loft that I intend to uh, extend and you can see beyond that the existing layout. Uh, this view here gives you some idea of what already exists and what we will extend into. I've already cut the timbers and drilled them for the cross members and today's job is to start putting those up. In order to erect the first cross members I first have to remove this piece of back scenery to get access to the cross members. I've had to remove the uh, back scenery section uh, as shown uh, this allows me to actually get access to the cross member here so that I can make sure that the following cross members uh, match up to that and come across at a level. The cross pieces are level with those that already exist so they have to be level uh, both back to front and side to side. It's key that we get the first piece properly lined up because we'll uh, take measurements from that on the subsequent cross members as we lay them. So what we're aiming for is to get the bubble in the middle just like that. So first timber in place, just check for level. We still have it level uh, in both directions. I'm using 144 millimeter by 18 PSE timber. This saves having to sand it. I've pre-drilled it and pre-cut it in the garage to save having to make a mess up in the loft which I'll subsequently have to clear up. And from now on, we'll be able to work forward and put the uh, remaining timbers in. The choice of the 144 is so that we have good solid base for the uh, 9mm ply I will lay on top of it and because of the way it's laid it obviously won't flex across the 144 direction. So that's the right hand side completed as you can see that's ready to uh, take the baseboard on top. Right, now to get on with the left hand side. We've now completed the right hand side in the same way as the left so the next task will be to add some ply, 9mm nine, nine ply to uh, form the top of the baseboards which uh, will be the next session.